What's up guys, it's your girl Sandy and I'm back again with another video. On this channel I give you tips and tricks, we talk about lifestyle, business and relationships, everything in between. If you're new, consider subscribing. And to my old subscribers, I mean the Sandy fam. Thank you so much for always coming back to watch my videos. Drop a sweet comment, let me know what you think. In today's video, I'm going to talk about how I do my shea butter and coconut oil mixture. If this is something you're interested in, keep on watching. Okay, so I'm going to do my body butter, my shea butter and coconut body butter. The first ingredient I'm going to use is shea butter organic and unrefined i bought this off amazon it came in two packs um 500 grams each so that's a total of one kg shea butter has got this natural smell which is quite strong i personally do not like it so i do it with a mixture of essential oils i don't do just one oil i do a mixture because i love the smell of all of them and the benefits that come with it so the first essential oil that I'm going to use today, I don't know if you all can see, is eucalyptus. And the next one is lavender. I don't know if you all can see it. And the next one is lemon. And the next one is peppermint. My third ingredient is coconut oil. I got this from Amazon, but you can get it in the normal grocery stores like Asda, Tesco, or you can get it from the shops or natural food shops. And this one is also 500 ml. So two parts 500 ml shea butter to one part 500 ml coconut oil. The next ingredient is vitamin E oil. It is very great and very moisturizing. It treats dry skin, prevents or, or minimizes the appearance of scars. It treats fine lines and wrinkles, makes your skin very youthful and soft. I especially like it because it is very, very light and it's suitable for both adults and children give it a try i bought this off amazon for about 11 pounds and you can buy it from most of the shops that do skincare or even from the grocery stores so let's jump right into how we make it i have my bowl here i first of all empty the shea butter into my bowl and i've got my spatula going to melt it now you have an option to melt it in a microwave but I prefer to melt it over hot boiling water just so that I do not lose the ingredients in there it's quite a lot but by the time it melts it should fit in the bowl okay I've got on fire this um, big pan of water so it's always best to use a glass container if you're going to use this method but if you're just going to pop it into the microwave you really do not need a glass container I'm going to add in a bit more water this the water level should cover about halfway so I'm just going to leave this to the boil until the shea butter melts. After a few minutes, it's beginning to melt. So you just allow it to melt gradually in the pot while you stir it so that the heat distributes evenly. butter is all melted now it took between 10 to 15 minutes to achieve this 
so now we're just going to leave it to cool down at room temperature if you want it quicker you can put it in the fridge and we'll be back to whisk it you would need a hand mixer i've got mine here and i'm going to transfer the shea butter and the coconut oil into a bigger bowl so i can do the mixing quite easily so i'll be back after the shea butter has cooled down point it is very light in consistency so after mixing it all together and it's well incorporated i will put it in the fridge so that it becomes a bit solid and easy to whisk very creamy just look at that very soft and creamy and very very moisturizing i'm just going to try it at the back of my hand just look at that i'm going to try it at the back of my hand so you see how moisturizing it is on your skin it absorbs very nicely and it keeps your skin fresh and soft so much for watching up to this point my cream is ready i'm just getting them prepared to put it into my containers and ready for use 
if you've watched up to this point i want to say a very big thank you to you don't forget to like comment or subscribe and i'll see you in my next one bye